Taeyeol, the best swordsman in Joseon who serves King Gwanghagen as his bodyguard, refuses to join a rebellion of the king's top officials, who believe him too weak to lead the nation against foreign invaders. One of the rebellion's leaders, Min Sung Ho, challenges him to a duel, during which Taeyeol's sword shatters and shards of metal pierce his eyes. The king personally stops the duel, declaring that he will abdicate the throne, and releases Taeyeol from his service. Years later, an older Taeyeol now lives with his teenage daughter, Taeyoke. The two live and work as trappers, but Taeyoke is increasingly frustrated with her father's refusal to let her experience life outside of their home in the mountains. Taeyeol retorts that the world is far more dangerous than she understands and that he only wants to protect her. Taeyeol's injuries have grown worse, and a local monk warns Taeyoke that unless his eyes are treated with special herbs, he will go completely blind in a few days. The monk sends them to the trader Wasin, but Sien reveals that the herbs are both too expensive and only available to those with political connections. The Joseon royal court receives a visit from Guru Tai, a relative of the Qing emperor who has enriched himself by enslaving and selling captives taken during the recent Qing invasion of Joseon. With their nation already suffering under the corrupt rule of the Qing, the king and his advisors fear that Guru Tai will soon force them to hand over their own children as tributes to Qing nobles. Li Makyo, a respected member of the court, decides to write a petition to the king to start openly resisting the Qing and their demands. He also makes a request to Xian for help finding a young girl to care for his aging mother. Xian recommends Taeyoke, who is both excited at the prospect of being adopted by a wealthy family and earning the herbs her father needs. Garutai's men harass Xian and her workers, and Taeyol, using only his cane, fights them off when they threaten Taeyoke. Later that evening, Tao K leaves for Lee's estate, where Guru Tai and his personal retinue of assassins soon carry out an ambush, killing all of Lee's servants and taking his daughter and Tao K as hostages. Tao learns about his daughter's kidnapping when he survives an attempt on his life, then saves Sien from a retaliatory attack by a Qing slaver. He locates the main slave camp used by Guru Tai and burns it to the ground after butchering the guards and freeing those held captive inside. A lone survivor agrees to lead him to Garutai's private compound. Li, leading a force of royal guardsmen, tries to rescue his daughter but instead watches helplessly as his men are gunned down by Qing riflemen. Taeyeol shows up and kills not only the entire company of riflemen but Garutai's assassins as well. He finally collapses from exhaustion and is rescued by Li and Xian, who administer the herbs. Sien admits to Taeyeol that he'll still go blind anyway, at which point he won't be able to fight. With little time remaining, Taeyeol confronts Min, now employed by Guru Tai after betraying Li out of disgust for his self-serving ways. After a brief duel, Taeyeol forces Min to yield, at which point Guru Tai slits his throat for losing. The two men face each other in a final battle, with Guru Tai ordering his mistress to hold Taeyoke at knife point and a Qing envoy observing the duel. Guru Tai initially has the upper hand, but Taeyeol manages to stab his mistress through the neck, saving Taeyoke, before disarming and impaling Guru Tai with his sword. The envoy stops his guards from interfering, allowing Taeyoke and the other slaves to go free. Taeyeol embraces his daughter as he slowly goes completely blind. A flashback reveals that Tao K is not Tao's biological daughter, but rather the only child of King Gwanghagen. The king tasked Tao with raising her as his own child so he would have a reason to live. The movie ends with Tao and Tao K slowly making their way down the mountain, with Tao declaring that he's ready to see the rest of the world.